find chromatic skills and exercises challenging and you want to become better at it. Hello everyone, I'm Ilya Laparev and in today's lesson we're gonna cover a great, great, great study by Louis Fayar, Studies of the Young Cellist, study number 41, which is a great chromatic etude. On my channel I produce awesome cello lessons. So if you're new here, then consider to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be always aware when new lessons are going to be available. I do also have a Patreon page, so if you want to give value for my work, you can donate any amount you want. I have different packages that I offer and depending on the amount that you're donating, I have monthly rewards for you. Right, so let's go right into it and as usual, you know the drill, I'll play the whole study through and then I explain a couple of things. Let's go! at the speed that I was playing it might sound intimidating for some of you, but really it's not intimidating at all. The good part about chromatics is that we have only one rule and it's the rule of using only three fingers. So in this case index finger, middle finger and ring finger or first, second and third finger. These three over here. We rarely use the pinky, although in the study over here sometimes we do use the pinky, but that's when we finish a phrase or a line. The good part about these studies of Fiyar over here is that he gives us liberty in the sense of tempo. So we can play this fast if we want, we can play this slow, so you actually can choose the tempo. Right, I played it pretty fast, but there is absolutely no problem if you do it slower. Yes, but in any case, I recommend that you start slowly and bit by bit you raise the tempo until you reach the tempo that you desire. And now I will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how I would start and practice this study from scratch and I recommend you follow me along. Let's do this.
Now that you have followed my way of practicing and if you're gonna apply this into your practice sessions then for sure you will dominate chromatic stuff and remember in cello playing patience is key so just give it a little bit of time so no rush take it easy and bit by bit you speed up the tempo and that's it if you have enjoyed today's lesson then definitely check out the next lesson that i'm gonna offer which is gonna appear in the end screen after this lesson is finishing where I talk about scales and I give five awesome tips plus a bonus tip. So you wanna make sure you watch the whole video. And this is really great for beginners and advanced people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you then in the next lesson.